Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ali's mom. I hope you're doing well today. I, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't joined my family and subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I upload two times a week. And that's it. Without further ado, let's get started. So the topic today is actually per subscriber request. I made a video not long ago about my top safe blind buy perfume in my entire collection and I received so many positive feedback from that film. I got requests from some of you to do a not so safe blind buy in my perfume collection. So yeah, so these I have 13 perfume here with me. The fact that all these perfume are in my collection, that means I love them some more than the other. I'm gonna explain in more detail as we go along. But overall, I do love this perfume that I'm going to mention. And I'm gonna state the reason why I don't think this list of perfume are a safe blind buy. From the least to the most, not so safe of a blind buy. All right, so let's get started. Burberry Her. This is the other perfume. This is the original one. It actually smells really good. It smells like uh, strawberry ice cream. The reason why it's not of a slave blind buy is because the strawberry here is very synthetic. Nonetheless, I put this as number 13 because when I had my friend smell my perfume in my collection this is actually rated number two i guess teenager or younger folks tend to like this because this is fun this is young it lasts about six hours it has great projection overall this is a really nice perfume the perfumer behind this is mason francis kirkjohn some people think this smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. I do not agree with that. The strawberry here is very synthetic, so therefore it's not so safe of a blind buy. Number 12, Lancome La Vie est Belle. So this is like one of the best selling perfume out there. Performance is beast mode. It lasts a long time. This is overall very light perfume but the patchouli here is so strong that uh, and I live in a hot and humid place that this is rather not safe of a blind buy like I don't gravitate towards using this and I don't know where you live or what's the weather where you at so I, therefore I think this is not so safe of a blind buy so remember guys, all of my perfume in my collection are rather safe blind buy because I do a lot of research before buying my perfume. Um, therefore, the list that you see in this video, it's not going to be too extreme of a not blind buy safe. They're rather safe, but then still, I personally think that this 13 perfume are not so safe of a blind buy, if you know what I mean. Versace Crystal Noir. This is the Eau de Toilette. This is like one of the best selling perfume out there. Super popular. Lots of people likes it. Performs really great. 12 plus hours. Soft to moderate projection. Overall, this is such a good perfume. I do enjoy it during summer night. Uh, this is such a sexy date night perfume. Now, I think this is not a safe blind buy because this one smells rather spicy. It has that ginger note. It also has this like spicy cardamom. Um, versatility is just kind of low in the list. When I invited my friend over to rank my perfume, he said that this one smells like how a house should smell like, like a furniture or spa establishment or a place should smell like it's a women should not smell like this so that's the feedback that i got so therefore this is listed at number 11. number 10 this is my recent purchase actually elizabeth and james nirvana 
bourbon. Yep, so this is the 100 ml. This is my recent purchase. Yeah, I love vanilla. This should be right up my alley, right? Now, the performance of this perfume sucks. It lasts only 30 minutes, it literally disappeared. It doesn't project. Um, I personally enjoy this, but performance is so bad that I don't recommend this at all. This actually performed worse than my philosophy perfume. This performed worse than Mon Guerlain. This thing sucks, even though it smells so good. Now, the reason why it's not such a safe blind buy because it's either Woodsy Note, Vanilla, and Tuberose. But the cedar here, I smell cedar, and the cedar here is so strong and prominent. It smells like a wet cedar. Some people smell bookstore from this because of the cedar. Um, some people think that this smells like wet cedar. I'm not too impressed with this perfume. It smells like a cigarette butt. If you smell it fresh up from the nozzle, it smells like a cigarette butt. I used to be a smoker back in school and college. I was a smoker for four years. So I know how a cigarette smells like. This smells like unlit cigarette straight from the box. So if you find that somewhat attractive, then this is a good one for you. Yeah, so that's what it smells like to me from the nozzle. From the skin, it smells like cedar and vanilla. It smells like a wet cedar. But yeah, I overall enjoy it. Like I said, I was a smoker before, so this one does, I guess, bring that nostalgic smell, but I don't know if I recommend this, to be honest. Performance not great, and I don't think it has a lot of positive association, if you know what I mean. Number nine, this was love at first sniff for me. Uh, but I think I grew out of love with this perfume, Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. This is like one of the first perfume that I fell in love with when I first started my perfume journey. This is synthetic strawberry with patchouli. Um, yeah, so I used to enjoy patchouli a lot, but as I dwelt into perfumery, getting to more scents more. I'm starting to not like patchouli as much. I find them to be very overbearing, overpowering, and they just give this dirty smell that I don't like. So yeah, this is uh, Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. So I guess it smells fun, it smells young, it smells, it's super long lasting because of the patchouli. It smells nice. It's just that it's not a safe blind buy because patchouli. Patchouli is not a safe blind buy, period. It lasts eight plus hours, uh, moderate projection. Yeah, so check this one out. Just be careful before you buy it, I guess. Now, this one, number eight, this is actually in my safe to blind buy list. And I always thought that it's a safe of a blind buy until I brought it to my friend high school graduation party. People don't like this one. I am surprised. So this is Swiss Arabian Shug of Oud. I personally love it. This is a very powerful, strong Oud and Rose and Saffron. I really, really enjoy this, but I guess it's, people don't like this, so it's not a safe of a blind buy perfume. Let me tell you the feedback that I got from this, that it smells horrible, it's gross, no, 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 and it smells like vanilla and pee. So that's the feedback that I got. I was really surprised because I actually never experienced oud before this. Well, I have, but I never own a oud perfume or know how oud smells like before this and I fell in love, but that's me. That's not the feedback that I got from the normal people. So yeah, not so safe of a blind buy, even though I think it's safe of a blind buy. Number seven, um, Agent Provocateur Fatal Intense. 
this one to me is not a safe blind buy because it's a spicy vanilla it's a little bit too spicy it's a little bit sharp to the nose it smells like angel or the perfume Mugler angel or the perfume minus the heavy patchouli so I guess this is one of those love and hate perfume uh, I personally love this this is one of my favorite but it takes a while for me to grow and therefore it's on the list number six this is one of my all-time favorite but not so safe of a blind buy alien Mugler love or hate perfume out there the feedback that I got is that this one smells like jasmine and wet soil it has this cold piercing vibe when you first spray it on if you don't like this try the alien or sublime oh it's so beautiful you guys but it's not so safe of a blind buy but this is one of the classic you know oh performance is 10 plus hours heavy projection this is such a good one you guys i love it all right so number five this is gonna be for the whole house a house of mancera and montal i had a video where i tested five different montal mancera decans and my initial impression of this house wasn't good it's such a strong powerful beast mode perfume with this signature plasticky smell very synthetic of Mancera Montal style. I do love this one. I ended up buying a full bottle of Roses Vanille, but I still think that this is not so safe of a blind buy. It's so strong, it's so projecting, it's such a beast mode, such a good value for the price, but either you love it or you hate it. And I have like five decan right here of Mancera Montal. I have wild candy, which I think it's beautiful. But I remember the dry down. It has this very synthetic oot that I don't enjoy. Falford flower. This one's beautiful too. But I remember this one has a very strong soapy scent that I don't quite enjoy. Mukalat. Uh, Moon Perfume thinks that this smells like a strawberry plastic eraser that's a smell in her childhood. I thought it smells like a gummy bear if you put it in a plastic container and leave it in the car for like days. That's how it smells like. The plastic scent is so strong and overpowering. Mancera Instant Crush. I'm starting to enjoy it more but when i first put it on this smells like men cologne i do enjoy it now actually but i don't know if i want a full bottle of this you know it smells sweet and woody and saffrony when i first got this it will smell like men cologne and i didn't enjoy it and sarah holidays the tiara flower is super strong i do love this one this is my favorite out of all of them but I'm starting to get used to the plasticky scent of Mancera Montal. Uh, I now enjoy the house a lot more. I see the value of Mancera and Montal. It's such a good value for what it is. When I put this on and if I spray any other vanilla perfume, I literally can't smell them. Is that Bees of a Moat, such a good one, such a good one, but it's not safe of a blind buy. Number four, this is one of my favorite, but it's not a safe blind buy. Tom Ford Black Orchid. This one's like heavy, dark, mysterious. It has this like goth, gothic vibe. I personally love it, but it's not a safe blind buy. It's super strong, it projects, and it's a beast mode. You have to be in the mood for it. You know, Tom Ford Black Orchid. It's a classic. I recommend it, but it's not a safe blind buy. I suggest you to sample it first before you buy a full bottle. Not even sample, just go to the mall and smell them, you know? Number three. 
This is one of my all-time favorite, but I don't know if it's a slave blind buy. Uh, this is Dior Attic. Oh my goodness, this one smells so good. Oh, this is like a dark, sexy, powdery vanilla. Very, very seductive, sexy. It smells like somebody's about to go to party. Very powdery, it's very thick and heavy. It has this heavy white floral. But it could also smell dated, too powdery. So it's not a save a blind buy. Either you love it or you hate it. And I love it because these are all the perfume in my collection. So I love most of this perfume, you know? Okay, so number two. <laughs> it's this Shalimar Souffle Intense. This one smells like lemon powdery very powdery and thick and musky very melancholic i am starting to enjoy this a lot in fact i reach for this a lot oops uh, yeah but i don't think this is a blind buy safe in fact if you're gonna buy it i suggest you to like don't have too much of an expectation of this perfume then you'll certainly love it but if you have a high expectation of this perfume you probably won't like it i bought this with the assumption that this one is a souffle so i thought this is a gourmand and then also the the most prominent notes that's listed for grantica are benzoin vanilla and musk so i thought that this is going to be my jam but nope, this doesn't smell gourmand at all. Um, so a subscriber of mine, Satan, hi Satan, I hope I said your name right. Um, so she said that um, a lot of people bought this, a lot of YouTuber bought this in under assumption of this is a souffle, like, you know, the egg dish, which is gourmand. But in reality, this one is souffle, souffle, um, which means the wind. So that makes a lot of sense because this one smells like a stale air to me. Very melancholic vibe. I personally enjoy this or maybe I learned to appreciate the perfume as is um, because this is so different and so unique. Nonetheless, this is not a safe blind buy. Alright, so number one perfume in my, my collection that I enjoy, but in no way in hell it's a safe of blind buy. This is Alien Mugler Oud Majestique. It comes in this like plastic wrapper. Pull it out and it goes like this. It's a beautiful purple color interior and it sits beautifully in here. The packaging is beautiful, you guys. This one's very majestic looking. It's gold plated on the bottom and on top it's like ambre finish a little bit. It's like transparent a little bit and it goes darker. This is the uh, 90 ml bottle. Um, I do love this, but this is not a safe of a blind buy. When I first got this, the first 30 minutes of this smells like I went to a zoo and I went to the elephant section of the zoo or the horse section or anywhere in the zoo that has animal that eat haze and then they happen to poop. So that's how it smells like to me. It smells like you just entered that elephant section in the zoo or a horse section in the zoo and you sprayed alien the original perfume plenty so that's what it smells like to me and that lasted about 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes it dried down and it smells as if you've been in that zoo and then you hang out at the zoo and you get used to the hay smell and then you spray alien perfume so that's what it smells like to me I don't think this is everyone's cup of tea. Actually, I don't recommend you to blind buy it unless if you like uh, the smell of being in a farm, maybe, or a zoo. But I love it, you guys. But I'm not sure if I will recommend this. I learned to appreciate this as an art form of a perfume. 
but I don't think this is versatile and I don't think that this is blind buy safe of a perfume in my collection if you know what I mean I do love it if you love Alien as much as I do, I recommend you to buy it. If you don't like Alien the original, forget it, don't buy it. If you like Alien Essence Absolute, there is no guarantee that you like this because it's completely different to me. So this is overall, it's beautiful perfume to me, to my nose. Uh, the harmony of Jasmine and that zoo is as if you happen to walk to the zoo and then there is a jasmine plant that's blooming and then smells beautiful but at the zoo where elephants are or horses or any animals that eats hay so it has that hay barnyard kind of smell but anyway i do enjoy this um, but i think that alien essence absolute is still my favorite for now Performance is beast mode. This is like 12 plus hours, super long lasting and projects. Uh, don't wear this on a date where you want to attract men. That's not how it works. It won't work. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.